Well, Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung has announced sweeping changes to Singapore's cabinet lineup, and among the key changes, Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien relinquishes his defense portfolio for home affairs and will also be coordinating Minister for National Security. He's been given additional responsibilities and will be acting Prime Minister when Mr. Lee is not around. Finance Minister Thamlin Chamugaratnam is promoted to Deputy Prime Minister and will also head the Manpower Ministry. At the Asana today, Mr. Lee called the these changes epochal as both Senior Minister Go Chuk Tong and Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew are both leaving the cabinet. The changes are radical, with the Prime Minister describing it as a fresh start and a fresh approach. He paid tribute to the contributions of both former Prime Ministers, in particular Mr Go Chok Tong, for mentoring him in politics. MM and SM have dedicated their lives to Singapore, building the nation, raising living standards and enabling future generations to enjoy a better life in a transformed Singapore. Now they've decided that it's time for them to step down and to leave it to me and my team of younger ministers to take Singapore forward into the future. Now they've decided On Wednesday, he accepted both former Prime Minister's decisions to step down from Cabinet, but he says he wants to tap on the accumulated wisdom. Hence, Mr Lee Kuan Yew will be appointed Senior Advisor to the Government Investment Corporation of Singapore and relinquish the chairmanship to Prime Minister Lee, while Mr Go Chok Tong will be appointed Senior Advisor to the Monetary Authority of Singapore and give up his position as Chairman to Finance Minister Taman Shumugaratnam. Mr Goh has also been given an honorary title of Emeritus Senior Minister. Mr Lee explained that both men had decided to step down after the election and rejected suggestions that this was because they could have had a negative impact on the PAP's performance in the polls. I believe that MM's comments um, were negatively received by a significant number of Singaporeans, but I do not believe that they determined the election outcome. And that is, I do not believe that is the reason. I know that is not the reason why they made this move. They made this move because, as they said, we are going forward into a new and more challenging environment and it's best for a new team to take Singapore forward. Mr Lee described the new team as one with a good mix of continuity and change. Certainly the outcome of the elections affected my thinking in deciding how to make this cabinet. I wanted a fresh start, and that's why I've gone for a radical change. Um, <clears throat> there is a significant continuity with the previous cabinet in terms of the key members who are involved. I mean, Taman and uh, Teo Chi Hen have worked with me for quite many years, and so have a good number of the uh, ministers who are continuing. So it's a combination of continuity and change, but it's a fresh presentation and a fresh lineup and we're going to take a fresh approach. It's also one which he says is in transition. The fourth generation leadership is one where I'm not the PM. And I'm working towards that with all the dispatch which I can, but I need the, we, we need to give the uh, MOSs and the new ministers exposure, experience, and my target is 2020, and I'm still aiming for that. He added that there will be a mid-term review, likely in two years. Among the key changes, three ministers will be retiring. Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng, National Development Minister Ma Bao Tan and Transport Minister Raymond Lim. Mr Lee said all three ministers had asked to do so before the elections, but Mr Lee only agreed to let them retire now. Another change Mr Lee had to deal with is the loss of Mr George Yeo as Foreign Minister. Well, Minister George Yeo, uh, has, he's uh, one of our best foreign ministers, as you know, uh, and his loss is a grievous one, and I would like to tap him uh, in whatever way I can. Uh, it's a new area for Shanmugam. I mean, he has just gone into Ministry of Home Affairs, but I have a, a situation, I have to fill a vacancy in MFA. As for Mr Ko, Mr Lee says he will have a strong team behind him in the National Development Ministry. I asked him whether he would go to MND. He says yes, he volunteers for the job. <laughs> so I think that's the right attitude to go into a very difficult post.
I think the ministers are keen to go into these new portfolios. It's an issue not just of reviewing policies, but it's also an issue of engaging and looking for views, connecting with all segments of society. Both Mr. Teo and Mr. Tharman said with a new team in place, there's much work to be done. Having a new team has some disadvantages because you lose some experience, but it also brings some pluses. Individual ministers who are will willing to relook policy parameters, look at things afresh, that's a, that's a real plus. But it's a positive, forward-looking agenda. How do we make Singapore a better place 10 years from now, 10 years from now, for all Singaporeans? Basically, we want the policies to be responsive, to address real problems which Singaporeans have. At the same time, be policies which will be sound and which over the long term will deliver results and a better life for Singapore. Whether it's a better social safety net, which doesn't undermine the will for people to work and, uh, and achieve. Uh, these are things which, these are trade-offs and judgments, not just policy judgments, but political judgments, which the ministers will have to make. The new cabinet will be sworn in on Saturday.